Just the whole, this, the whole, I don't know if you saw the Deshaun Foster uh, open to his press conference, his media availability on uh, I, I didn't see it, but I heard about it. What what happened? I don't know. I don't know if you got a little nervous. And I, I mean, I wish him well. It, it's not a bad, it's, it's a bad look, um, but he can recover. He just, he just ran, but he's like, yeah, you know, you guys have heard about it, about, about a lot about UCLA. Um, we're in Los Angeles um, with with USC, and um, it, it was literally a lot of us and pauses and uh, anybody any questions. And it was just like I don't know if he was nervous. His comp staff didn't prepare him. He's just not a public speaker. This is the first. I mean, it's, a, it's the first time a coach. I don't know, but it was it was not the best start for okay. him. And the Big Ten, but you know, we'll see. Um, some other things to me that kind of suck out is we talked about the travel. We talked, you know, that was a big thing with the new schools coming in. Which, by the way, and I'm still working on finding this out why. You know, like the whole big thing with the SEC, July one, Texas and Oklahoma came for whatever reason. The four West coast schools that joined the big 10 are not official big 10 members yet they didn't become members on july 1 they don't become official big 10 members until august 2nd same with the ones for the big 12 and i'm still trying to figure out why no one has given me an answer as to why that is but uh so yeah officially they're not big 10 members yet um but something that stuck out to me is just the whole travel uh, Rutgers plays a Friday night game at USC Friday night, mm-hmm. yeah. Which means you're either leaving Wednesday. I don't. I can't see you going cross country, New Jersey to LA on a Thursday, playing on Friday. So that tells me you have to leave on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So Did you have a bye week beforehand. No, they play. Yeah. The bye week is after. Okay, the bye week is makes after. no sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The bye week is after, so they play on Saturday. They practice Sunday. They all they're off Monday using the Ohio State schedule. I don't know if this is right, right. schedule or not, but play Saturday off. Play practice Sunday off Monday. Practice Tuesday. Practice Wednesday. Then you're flying cross country. You're there Thursday, maybe a walk through, and you play Friday night, and then conversely the same thing. Later, the week, I think it's a week after. It is. It's a week later. Oregon plays at Purdue on Friday night. They play the week prior, and they get a bye after. So, welcome to the Big Ten Conference. Yeah. No, CA37, no. No. They they don't miss Quinn Ewers? No. But, But Big Thrillo asked this. What's going to happen with Georgia and all their off the field troubles? That's interesting. I, I, I've we've been talking about that up here because, and, and this is not to ex- excuse anything that happens anywhere else, but it's always interesting that those don't get reported quite as largely as an Ohio State transaction would have, or um, a Texas transaction trans transgression with yeah. mm-hmm. um it's always interesting to me that kirby smart you know we call him teflon don because nothing sticks the yeah. jalen carter piece where the the young lady unfortunately uh was racing and she and then a player were killed not a lot's been yeah. said yeah, about nothing. yep very little yeah and so there's been other things this being the latest um yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I, I, a good number of the players have been arrested for speeding tickets. Yep, yep. and they're 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 losing their some nil money. Yeah. That's how they're handling it. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, yeah, okay. All right. How All about right. this one? Were they close? Um, they were in the mix. I, what the issue with Ohio State? Um, and this came up as well in Big Ten meetings uh, this past week. Ohio State wanted guys to wait. Um, they wanted guys to wait till after the Cotton Bowl 
because they wanted to see what they had with Devin Brown. They wanted to see what they had with uh, Lincoln Klingholtz. They wanted to see what who what they had currently before mm-hmm. they decided who they wanted in the portal. Because Dylan Gabriel, who conversely ended up actually going to Oregon, was in the building, wanted to come to Ohio State, but they asked him to wait. Same with Cam Ward. They asked him to wait until after the Cotton Bowl so they can assess where they were and then make a decision, and those guys didn't want to wait. So, yes, they were close on, on Cam Ward. Thank you, sir. 